Hi friends, a very good morning to all of you. So in the last video, uh, we have covered the first exercise of uh, ellipse, right? So today we are going to take questions from the next exercise that is exercise number two, and uh, we will uh, solve the questions, okay? So let's start. Okay, so here we go. The question number one of exercise two from the chapter ellipse, right? So see what the question is saying. The number of values of C such that the straight line y equal to 4x plus C touches the curve x square upon 4 plus y square equal to 1. Okay, so uh, basically the given straight line is the tangent to the given curve. Okay. So uh, let me write the equation of the curve. So it is x square, x square upon 4, right, plus uh, y square is equal to 1. So, okay. And the given straight line, and the given straight line uh, is a tangent, is a tangent to this curve. So what is the straight line? It is y equal to 4x plus c, right? Now, for this line to act as a tangent to this ellipse, the value of this c square, condition of tangency, I hope everyone is uh, aware of this. So, what is the condition of tangency? Condition of tangency is this c square, this c thing, the c square must be equal to a square m square plus b square, right? So as per given uh, condition, what is our a square? If you see from the, the equation of this uh, equation of the ellipse, the a square value is 4, right? And uh, the value of b square is 1, right? And if you observe uh, what is the slope of this line? The slope of this line is 4, right? So let's put the value of this a square, b square and m in this equation, okay? So what we will get, c square is equal to a square, m square, means 4 into uh, m square, that is 4 chi square. And what is the value of b square? That is 1. So basically we get c square is equal to 4 into 60, that is 64 plus 1, that is 65, 65. So the value of C is coming out to be plus minus under root of 65, right? So this is the value of C, means what? The question is saying the number of values of C. So we are having basically two values of C. Two values of C is possible. Two values of C possible. For this straight line, for this straight line to behave as a tangent to the given ellipse. Okay. So the important thing is this, this condition of tangency should be known to all of you, right? This C square is equal to A, A square, M square for plus B square, right? So let's move to the next one. Question number two. <clears throat> It is given if any if any tangent to the ellipse. So ellipse is our standard ellipse x square by a square plus y square uh, by b square equal to one. Cuts of intercept of of length h and k on the axis. Then a square upon h square plus b square upon k square is equal to. Okay, so uh, basically we have to write we have to write the equation of tangent to the given ellipse. Okay, so let us write. So the given ellipse is x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1, right? Now I have to write the equation of tangent on this ellipse. So what will be our tangent? What will be the equation of tangent? That we know we will replace this x square by xx1 and y square by yy. So this will be x, x1 upon a square, right? 
uh, plus y y upon b square is equal to one. This will be the equation of tangent, right? Now it is this a tangent is cutting an intercept of length h and k. Length h and k. So uh, for finding the value of h, right? For finding the value of h, what I have to do? I hope everyone is able to uh, uh, imagine that drawing what the question is saying, right? This h will lie on the x-axis, right? And this k will lie on the uh, y-axis, right? So uh, for finding the coordinates of h, uh, or uh, should I draw that drawing? Okay, let me draw, let me draw. It will uh, not take uh, that much time, right? So let me draw the drawing. <clears throat> so basically, this is our ellipse. Suppose this is our ellipse, and I'm drawing the uh, axis also. So it now uh, I'm now drawing the tangent. So let me draw the tangent. Okay. Now this thing, this. Uh, this is the tangent, right? This uh, straight line in white colored, white color. This is the tangent. Uh, suppose this is the point P whose coordinates are X1 and Y1. And this uh, straight line is make, uh, this point P is the point of contact basically of this uh, tangent to the ellipse. This is our standard ellipse. X square upon A square, right? Plus Y square upon B square is equal to one. Now this length, if I say uh, this point as A, right? So it is basically H comma zero. Cuts of intercept, no? So this length of intercept will be H comma zero. And if I assume this point as B, uh, its length will be zero comma K, right? So I hope this is uh, clear to all. So now this equation of tangent, right? This equation of tangent, the straight line in uh, this white color. I have written that uh, the equation of that straight line. Now to find the uh, coordinates of A, for uh, coordinates of A, for A, what I have to do for finding the x-intercept, I will put y equal to zero in the above equation, right? So from there, from there, if you put y equal to zero, what you will get, the x will uh, be A is square, a is square upon x1. Is it okay? So we can say this is the value of h. This is equal to h. Right? So this the coordinates of a is uh, like uh, a square upon x1 comma 0. Now this since the intercept is equal to h, so this thing will be equal to h. Right? Now for b, if you see for the point b, uh, for finding the coordinates of P, the X coordinate will be zero, right? So uh, putting the X equal to zero in the above equation, what I will get, I will get the value of Y as B square upon Y1. Is it okay? Now, this thing is equal to K as per given information in the question, right? Now, what I have to find, I have to find the value of this thing, A square upon H square, plus b square upon k square, right? This is what the question is asking. So, uh, okay, a square let it be as it is, put the value of h. So our h square will be equal to uh, a to the power four, right? Upon x1 square, or we can say x1 square. And uh, b square let it be as it is. What is k square? k square will be b to the power four, upon y square that is y1 square now this uh, if you see it will cut so it will become 2 and it will become 2 so finally we are having x1 square right upon a square plus y1 square upon b square now if you observe the equation of ellipse if you observe the equation of ellipse this is our equation of ellipse now this x1 point and y1 point. This point P is lying on the ellipse also, right? This point P is lying on the ellipse also. So the value of this, 
So the value of this should be equal to one. Why? Because, because the point P, P lies on ellipse also. Right. So this point P should uh, satisfy the equation of ellipse. So X1 is square. <clears throat> Therefore, you can say this X1 is square upon A is square, right? Plus Y1 is square upon P is square. This should be equal to one. So this is what we need to find. So the value of this thing will be equal to C, right? So I hope it is clear to all <clears throat> what we have done in this question. Nothing. We have just written the uh, equation of tangent, right? Then we have find the coordinates of A and B. And as per the questions, the X intercept is equal to this thing. The Y intercept is equal to K. And uh, finally, we have put the value of this H and K in the required expression. And we got the value as B, right? <clears throat> Now, see the next question. The equations of uh, tangents to the ellipse this making equal intercepts on the axis, making equal intercepts on the axis. So basically, uh, equal intercept means what? Equal intercept means what? Because uh, this is our ellipse, okay. And uh, the equation of tangents who are making equal intercepts on the axis. So uh, this may be our one of the tangent, right? This may be one of our tangent. Now equal intercept uh, or this can be also one possibility, right? And if I say this line, if you see this line. So this is also one possibility you know, because the uh, intercepts made by this green line will be equal. Okay. And uh, this is also one possibility. Right. So basically equal intercept means the slope is equal to plus minus one. Right. Slope uh, can be uh, plus one like uh, for this straight line for this line slope is equal to for this line slope is equal to one right and for this line slope is equal to one now for this yellow colored line slope is equal to minus one and uh, here the slope is equal to minus one right so let me uh, assume the equation let the tangent be since i have to find the equation of tangent so i am assuming the uh, equation of tangent to be y equal to right mx plus c okay and what is the ellipse given here it is 3x square plus y square is equal to 3 now divide by 3 on both hand sides i will get x square upon 1 plus y square upon 3 is equal to 1 right x square upon 1 plus y square upon 3 equal to 1. Now for this straight line to represent a, uh, represent a tangent for this ellipse, this c square, c square thing must be equal to a square m square plus b square, right? And we know for uh, having equal intercept, we can have these two cases, right? Either m is equal to 1 or m is equal to minus 1. Okay, so considering m is equal to 1, I will uh, find the value of this c square. So this c square will be equal to a square plus b square. Now what is a square? If you see here, the value of a square is 1 and the value of b square is equal to 3, right? Comparing with the standard form of the ellipse. So a square equal to 1. That means this c square is coming out to be 3, a 1 plus 3, right? Equal to 4. So we got the value of c as plus minus 2, right? So what will be the equation in this case? Equation of tangent, it will be uh, x plus 2, right? Or y equal to x minus 2, right? So these two equations I am getting when I am considering m is equal to 1. And when I will consider m equal to minus 1, 
our c square will be equal to c square will be equal to again it will be equal to a square plus m square one why because this m square thing will be one only so uh, this will be a square plus b square okay so uh, c square will be equal to 4 and the value of c will be equal to plus minus 2 right and uh, so in this case what will be the equation m is minus 1 so it will be minus x plus 2 or y equal to minus x minus 2 okay so these equations uh, these are the possible equation of tangents which are making equal intercept on the axis right so uh, seeing the option this option a is correct right y equal to plus minus x plus minus so i hope it is clear to all the only point to note is any straight line which is making equal intercept can have slope either plus one or minus one. okay now coming to the uh, fourth question <clears throat> This, if x by a plus y by b equal to root 2 touches the ellipse, x square upon a square plus y square upon b square equal to 1, then its eccentric angle theta is equal to. Okay. So, one equation of a straight line is there. Okay. And that uh, straight line is touching the given ellipse, given a standard ellipse. So we have to find the eccentric angle theta. Okay, eccentric angle theta. So how can we do? We can use uh, the parametric form, right? We can use the parametric form because uh, the question is asking about uh, this eccentric angle theta, right? So theta, we will be able to have the theta in parametric form. Only. So, okay, let's proceed. So I'm writing the ellipse, equation of ellipse that is x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1, right? And uh, let me assume one point p on this ellipse, which is a cos theta, right? a cos theta comma b sin theta. So uh, for assuming any point on the ellipse or on the given curve, we normally uh, take the help of parametric form. So here also I am assuming the point P in parametric form that is a cos theta comma b sin theta. Okay. Now what I will do, I will write the equation of tangent at this point. I will write the equation of tangent. So let me write it. It will be basically x x1. So what is x1 here? It is x into a cos theta. Okay. Upon a square and uh, y y1 that is y I have written in, in place of y1, I will write this b sin theta. So y y1 upon b square uh, is equal to 1. Is it okay? So this is the equation of line, uh, which is tangent to this ellipse at this point p, right? Now, as per given, uh, given uh, condition, what is, uh, what is given in the uh, question, it is saying this x by a, right, plus y by p equal to root to represent a tangent to the ellipse. So basically, these two, these two are same lines, same lines, right? Or uh, these two represent the same tangent, right? So if that is the case. What can we confer? Like, what can uh, we say about uh, these two equations? We can say the coefficient of x must be equal to coefficient of y, and that should must be equal to the constant, since both these lines uh, represent the same line, right? So I will uh, use the same funda. If you observe here, this a thing and this a can get cancelled out. This b and this b can get cancelled. Okay. So what is the coefficient of x here? It is cos theta upon a, right? Cos theta upon a. And uh, what is the coefficient of x here? It is basically 1 upon a, right? So this must be equal to the coefficient of y. So coefficient of y here, sine theta upon b, and 
here it is 1 by b and this must be equal to constant term that is 1 upon 1 here in this case and root 2 here. Right. So this a and this uh, 1 by a thing will get cancelled out. This b and this b will be uh, cancelled out. So what we got? We got this thing. This sine theta or okay let me write it as sine theta sine theta is equal to cos theta right and that is equal to 1 by root 2 so what does it mean what will be the value of theta so theta will be equal to 45 degree or you can say what uh, pi by 4 pi by 4 radian right so this is what the question is asking question is asking to find the angle theta right this is centric angle theta so this will be our value of theta. So I hope it is clear to all. We have assumed the uh, point B in parametric form because we were able, uh, we need to find this eccentric angle. Okay. So we have no other options left than to assume the, for, uh, the point in the parametric form. After that, uh, we have written the equation of tangent and we have compared both the straight lines since they have they are representing same line, right? So from here, we got the value of theta as uh, 45 degree, okay? <clears throat> so this, this was the question number four. Now uh, let's have a look at question number five. The number of values of theta uh, between zero, uh, zero say two pi, for which the line to its cos theta uh, plus 3y sine theta equal to 6 touches the ellipse, this 4x square uh, plus 9y square equal to 36. Okay, so the given uh, ellipse is our 4x square plus 9y square is equal to 36, right? So uh, divide by 36 on both hand sides. I will get x square upon 9 plus y square upon 4 equal to 1, right? So this is our ellipse in a standard form. And uh, the given line, if you see, given line is touching the ellipse, no? So a tangent, you can say. The given line is the tangent. So the equation of tangent given is 2x cos theta, right? 2x cos theta uh, plus 3y sin theta equal to 6. 3y sin theta equal to 6. Given in the question. It is given in the question. Okay. That this line is uh, touching the ellipse. So we can say that this line is the tangent to the ellipse. Is it okay? Now, if that is true, the number of values of theta, then uh, what can be the uh, values of theta? Okay, so let me, uh, should I draw the sketch? Okay, let me draw quickly. So basically, uh, this is our ellipse, okay. Uh, these are the axis of the ellipse. These are the axis of the ellipse, right? And uh, this theta thing, no? So, I should draw the auxiliary circle also. So draw with different color. So this is basically our auxiliary circle, right? And uh, this equation of tangent is given, no? So we can draw one tangent also. Okay. So let me draw that tangent. So suppose this is the tangent. Okay. Now coming to the question. So uh, this is any point. Suppose any point P. Okay. P theta means the coordinates of uh, P will be A sine theta and A cos theta. Sorry, B sine theta. So and what is this theta? Uh, I have explained that in the last class also, but let me explain here. Here also. So I'm extending this point P to the auxiliary circle and I will jo join that point to this center of the ellipse. 
okay so what i am mean to say i have taken this point p okay and i have extended it i have extended it on the auxiliary circle and then i have joined that point suppose i am saying it as q so i am joining this point q to the center so this angle is basically theta okay so uh, suppose this is our tangent okay this is uh, sorry this is our ellipse and we don't know the equation of tangent so uh, let me write uh, let me write the equation of tangent at point p like equation of tangent okay equation of tangent at p theta so how can we write this x x1 right x1 will be a cos theta x x1 upon 9 right and uh, plus y y1 y y1 will be b sin theta upon 4 equal to 1 right now if you see here a square is 9 so we can say a is equal to 3 and uh, b square is equal to 4 so we can say b is equal to 2 okay so putting the value of a and b here what i will get 3 uh, a means what 3 right to so 3 and 9 so basically 3 cos theta into x upon 9 uh, plus b is 2 so 2y sin theta upon 4 equal to 1 now this will be 3 times this will be 2 times so LCM will be 6, right? So 2 cos theta x, 2 cos theta x plus 3, 3 sin theta y. Check the calculation, 3 uh, sin theta y equal to 6, okay? So we got this equation, 2x cos theta plus 3 sin theta y equal to, or 3y sin theta equal to 6. Now, this is the same. What is given in the question? Okay, so how can we uh, define the number of values of theta? You can take any theta, no? You can take any theta on this ellipse. Okay, let me say this is our uh, tangent. No? This is our tangent. So uh, the theta value can be taken anywhere on this, uh, what you say, on this auxiliary circle. So basically, theta can be theta can be anywhere can be anywhere on the auxiliary circle or in short you can say this point p can be anywhere no on the ellipse this point p you can say point p can be anywhere can be anywhere on the ellipse so basically there will be infinite number of tangents on this ellipse. Okay, that means there will be infinite number of values of theta. That is not defined. You can't say that is this is the fixed theta for this tangent. It's not like that. The P can move anywhere on the circle or a, on the ellipse. So infinite number of tangents are possible, right? So there will be no fixed uh, values of theta for this, right? Really no fixed values for theta. Now, coming to the next one. Okay, let me see whether uh, I'm recording the video or not. Yeah, recording is going on. Yes. So uh, this is our question number six. The common tangent uh, of x square plus y square equal to four and uh, two x square plus y square equal to two. Okay, basically we are uh, provided with two curves. The first curve is this x square plus y square equal to four. So this is basically a circle, right? And the second curve is, and the second curve is x square, 2x square plus y square is equal to 2. Divide by 2, we will have x square by 1 uh, plus y square upon 2 equal to 1. 
So basically, this is the circle, right? And this is our ellipse. This is our ellipse. Now, the question is saying the common tangent. We have to uh, derive the uh, or write the equation of common tangent to both these curves. Okay. So let me assume. Let the tangent be as usual what we do. Let tangent be y equal to mx plus c. Okay. And uh, for uh, this line y equal to mx plus c to be a tangent to the circle, what is the condition of tangency? Condition of tangency for this? The c square must be equal to a square under root 1 plus m square. Right? Hope you remember all. Hope you all remember this uh, condition of tangency, right? So uh, c square should be equal to what is a square? a square is 4 here. And uh, under root of 1 plus m square. Is it fine? Is it fine? So what can we say? Uh, this c square is equal to 4 1 plus m square or uh, you can write it as c is equal to uh, plus minus 2 under root of am I uh, doing some mistake? This is the condition of tangency you know, for circle. This c square is equal to a square uh, under root of uh, what you say under root of 1 plus m square or uh, c square is equal to a square into 1 plus m square. I think that is the correct. Okay, anyhow, we will be able to figure it out. I also, uh, I think, uh, I forget or what. But uh, c square is equal to uh, the c value of c coming to be 1 under root of a I think it should be a 1 plus m square. Like this under root uh, sign should not be there. Right? This is what. Okay. So I am removing uh, this under root thing from 1 plus m square. Right? So this will be c square it must be equal to a square into 1 plus m square. I hope uh, it is clear now, right? Yeah, because in ellipse, what is the condition? A square, m square plus b square. Here, uh, circle is also a special case of ellipse. So, uh, this will be a square means what? 4 times 1 plus m square or you can say c equals to plus minus 2 under root of 1 plus m square. Is it okay? So, what will be the equation of tangent basically? Equation of tangent will become mx, mx plus c and what is c? That is 2 under root of 1 plus m square, right? So, this is the equation of tangent on the circle. Now, this same straight line is tangent to, this straight line is tangent to ellipse also, right? This is a tangent to ellipse also, right? So what is the condition of tangency for ellipse? Condition of tangency for ellipse is c square is equal to a square m square plus b square, right? Now, uh, what is the value of c square? c square is nothing but 4 times 1 plus m square, 4 times 1 plus m square. Is it okay? And this must be equal to a square. What is a square here? a square is equal to 1 and b square is equal to 2. So this will be basically m square. This is equal to m square plus 2. So what we got here? 4 plus 4 m square uh, minus m square. Okay. Minus of 2 equal to 0. So from here we get 3 3 times m square, 4 minus 2 is 2. Coming to the right hand side, it will be minus 2. Or it, what we got, we got m square is equal to minus 2 by 3. But wait, can a, can a square of any slope can be equal to negative, right? Can a square of any number, it can't be equal to negative. Number. It must be 
either greater than or equal to zero, right? So I think uh, there is no tangent possible, right? There is, what does it mean? There is no tangent possible, common tangent uh, instead, uh, rather you say common tangent is uh, not possible for both these curves, right? Because the value of m square is coming out to be minus two by three, that is not possible. Hence, no such value of m is possible. If no such value of m is possible, no such tangent is possible. Right. So uh, none of these uh, can be uh, the answer because we are not getting any particular equation. Right. We are not getting any tangent, common tangent for both these curves. So I'm taking this as the correct option. None of these. Okay. Now see the next one. Question number seven. If the normal at any point P on the ellipse X square upon A square plus Y square upon B square equal to one meets the axis in G and G respectively, then PG dot PG. Okay, okay. It should be basically is two. Because you see the answers are in the ratio. So this must also represent a ratio. Right? This PG is to PG. Okay. So I will draw a quick sketch for this. Right. So this is our ellipse. Okay. This is the this is the axis and now what i will do okay it is talking about normal now it's talking about normal on the ellipse so i have to draw one normal okay okay i will draw one normal this is our normal suppose and uh, this normal is meeting the axis in g and g okay Okay, now uh, I will sketch, I will uh, write the names. So this yellow colored line, this yellow colored line is uh, normal, right? Normal to what? Normal to this ellipse. Normal to this ellipse whose equation is, this is our standard ellipse, x square upon a square plus y square upon b square equal to one. So this yellow colored line is normal to this ellipse. Now this normal is meeting x axis. This is our x axis and uh, this is our y axis. So this is meeting x axis in G. What does it mean? This point is G basically. This is our G point. This is our G point. And uh, this is our G point. Means the normal uh, is cutting x axis at capital G and uh, it is intersecting our y axis at small g, right? Then PG and this is our point P, right? This is our point P. So we have to find the ratio of this PG, this ratio of distance of PG upon uh, P into G, okay. P into G. We have to find the ratio of these uh, distances. Okay, so uh, let me assume this uh, point P in parametric form, right? That will be helpful, I think. That will be helpful. And uh, in particular, in general, if you see, if we have to assume any point on the uh, on the curve, we normally prefer the parametric point, right? So uh, this makes our life uh, easier, a lot easier than uh, assuming the point to be like uh, x1 and y1. Right, because in parametric form, we generally have the only one unknown, uh, which is theta. And in Cartesian form, we have, uh, we uh, make two assumptions, right? We assume the coordinates of P as X1 and Y1. So there are two coordinates. So two unknowns and in parametric form, there is only one unknown. So we generally prefer that one. Okay, so what I will do, I will assume the point P as uh, what A cos theta, Okay, a cos theta comma b sin theta. And if you remember, uh, you must remember 
द इक्वेशन ऑफ नॉर्मल इक्वेशन ऑफ नॉर्मल एट पॉइंट पी नॉर्मल एट पी हाउ कैन वी राइट दैट वे राइट इट एज ए एक्स अपॉन कॉस्ट थिएटर ए एक्स अपॉन कॉस्ट थिएटर माइनस बी वाई अपॉन साइन थिएटर दिस इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर राइट सो दिस इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ नॉर्मल एट द पॉइंट पी ओके नाउ this is the important thing which you must know right this is important this equation is important so uh, this uh, i assume or uh, i request all of you to to remember this this uh, equation of normal right so uh, now what will be the uh, coordinates of this point g if i say uh for g like for g the y coordinate will be zero right y coordinate will be equal to zero okay so uh put the equation uh, value of y zero in this what i will get i will get ax upon cos theta uh minus zero is equal to a square minus b square right so from here what we get we get the value of x as the value of x as um, a square minus b square into cos theta right a square minus b square into cos theta upon a okay so uh, this will be basically x coordinate of g right so you can write it in this way also this this will be g ka x coordinate right and what will be the g ka y coordinate g ka y coordinate will be zero no doubt because this g point is lying on the x axis right so similarly the for point this g small g the x coordinate will be zero right x coordinate will be zero so put x equal to zero here what i will get i will get this minus by upon sin theta Minus a uh, b y upon sine theta uh, is equal to a square minus b square. Is it okay? Is it okay? So uh, we can uh, take the value of y as means the value of y is coming out to be this b square minus a square. I am taking minus common so that this minus will get cancelled with this. So uh, this will be b square minus a square into sine theta. Okay, upon uh b is it okay so uh, this will be basically g ka y coordinate g ka y coordinate hai na ye and what will be the g ka x coordinate g ka x coordinate will be equal to 0 no doubt so these two things we have got and we uh, so basically what you, uh, what we got we got the coordinates of p this what we have is your we got the coordinates of g and we got the coordinates of g so uh, now the finding the length will be easier now right so what will be the length of pg if you see what will be the length of pg x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square ka under root right so pg right so x coordinate of p is a cos theta a cos theta and uh, minus this thing a square minus uh, b square cos theta upon a right so x1 minus x2 this in sub ka whole square right and plus plus y1 minus y2 that is Hmm. What is y one here? So the y coordinate of p is basically p sine theta, and y coordinate of this g is zero, so minus zero whole square, right? Or uh, the length p g will be basically under root of this, so I'm squaring it. I don't want to put under root, so p g square will be this, and okay, you can simplify it basically. so after simplification what it will come mm, this will be 
let me take LCM as A. So A is square cos theta. Okay. Uh, minus A is square cos theta plus uh, B square cos theta. B square cos theta. ठीक है इन सब का होल स्क्वायर एक बार और और प्लस बी स्क्वायर साइन स्क्वायर थीटा सो आई होप आई एम नॉट मेकिंग एनी मिस्टेक सो दिस ए स्क्वायर कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा माइनस ए स्क्वायर कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा गेट्स कैंसिल्ड आउट एंड वी आर लेफ्ट विद वी आर लेफ्ट विद व्हाट बी का पावर फोर बी का फोर पावर फोर कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा ओके बी का पावर फोर कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा अपॉन ए स्क्वायर एंड प्लस बी स्क्वायर इंटू साइन स्क्वायर थीटा इज इट ओके इज इट ओके ओके सो वॉट कैन वी डू फॉर द दिस इज आवर पी जी नो सो पी जी मीन्स स्क्वायर दिस इज आवर पी जी स्क्वायर pg square so similarly we can uh, find this uh, p is small g also right if you see let me write that also so uh, nothing is left i think in this question just calculation part is there so this is our pg pg ka square what will be that uh p ka x coordinate that is a cos theta okay and uh, minus 0 x coordinate of g is 0 so this is square right now this b sin theta and minus y coordinate of the small j that is this thing b square minus a square uh sin theta right sin theta upon b is ka whole square so this will be basically our pg square pg square okay so we can simplify it as a square cos square theta and uh, what i will do i will take b lcm here it will be b square sin square theta uh, minus b square not sin square theta only sin theta minus b square sin theta okay plus a square sin theta complete ka whole square so this b square sin theta minus b square sin theta will get cancelled out we are left with a square cos square theta plus uh, a ka power 4 a ka power 4 into sin square theta a ka power 4 into sin square theta upon b square is it okay is it okay so is anything getting common here so if you see here what we can do we can do one thing uh p square no so if you multiply it by b square or uh a square right can do uh, some manipulations here so that uh, something gets cancelled out while uh, we take ratio of these two so basically this will be or what can we do b square we can take common no? here if you see uh, b square upon a square we can take common okay so if you take b square by a square common what will uh, be there here it will be b square cos square theta okay it's fine no b square cos square theta after multiplication b ka power 4 cos square theta upon a square right and here we will have uh, b square is already there no b square is already in the outside so we will have sin square theta but what about this a square we have to multiply by a square right we have to multiply by a square yeah so this whole thing will be our pg square or you can say the pg will be equal to under root of all these things okay so why i have done i am uh, able to see like something will get cancelled out 
Now, what I will do here, I will take uh, this thing. Uh, a square upon B square common. Or, uh, yeah, I will take uh, this common. So, if I take A square upon B square common here, we will have this B square cos A square theta. Is it okay? And uh, A square sin A square theta. A square into sin A square theta. Is ka under root lelo, to ho jayega humara PG. Right. So see this B square cos A square theta plus A square sin A square theta, we are getting comma. So now what I will do, the question is asking for this ratio, no? this PG upon PG, right? So basically it will be uh, B square upon A square. What is there? Yeah. So this will be. Okay, after coming out of the root, it will become B upon A into this uh, B square cos A square theta plus A square sin A square theta upon, uh, here we get outside of root, we get A upon B under root of same thing, B square cos A square theta plus A square sin A square theta. So this thing will get cancelled out, right? And we will have this what b square upon a square so this is the ratio we are getting okay b square upon a square yeah. so this will be our answer hope it is there in the option itself let me see yeah it is there option b right no we got b square upon a square no? so this will be option d yeah so we are done with this. We're coming to the next one. This is our question number eight. So number of distinct normal lines that can be drawn to the ellipse. That can be drawn to the ellipse. So normally we can draw a maximum of four normals, right? In case of parabola, if you remember, in case of parabola, from any uh, point, we can draw a maximum of three tangents, uh, sorry, three normals. But in case of ellipse, it's not like that. In case of ellipse, uh, uh, a maximum of uh, four normals can be drawn from any point. But uh, I don't know uh, how many normals can be drawn in this question from the given point. We have, uh, we can do, we can, we can do this question. So basically, if you see, um, Draw. Let me write the equation. Let me write the equation of the uh, ellipse first. So this is our x square upon one six line. Okay. Uh, plus y square upon twenty five is equals to right. So uh, this is our ellipse, and uh, the question is asking like. How many number of distinct normal lines can be drawn from the point 0, 6? So this is our point, which is uh, whose coordinates are 0, 6. Okay. So uh, how can we write the equation of normal? In the in last, I think last or uh, before that, we have seen the equation of normal at P. Okay. Equation of normal, right? Equation of normal. We can write it as ax, ax, um, ax upon cos theta, right? ax upon cos theta um, minus by upon sine theta is equal to a square minus b square. Now, uh, what can we do for this uh, ellipse? Our a square is 169 or we can say a is equal to 13 and uh, b square is 25. So our B is 5 for this ellipse, okay? Now put the value of A and B. So we will have this 13, A is 13, no? Yeah, 13X upon cos theta, okay? 13X upon cos theta minus 5Y. 5B is 5. So uh, 5Y upon sine theta 
and is equal to a square minus b square. a square is 169 and b square is 25. Okay. So uh, let's uh, solve it. So I'm taking LCM as sine theta uh, cos theta. So cos theta is there. It will be 13, what? Mm, 13 sine theta x. 13 sine theta x. Okay. And minus of 5 cos theta y. 5 cos theta y. Okay. And that will be equal to 169 minus 25. That will be 144. Right. So what can we do for the what can we do for the it is coming out to be a, a trigonometric problem. Okay, one thing we can do, no? One thing we can do. This uh, uh, normal is passing through this point, no? It's normal is passing through this point. So we could have uh, avoid this step, right? Okay, anyhow, I've written it. So this point P, if you see point P should satisfy the FF equation. Should satisfy the above equation of tangent. The above equation of tangent. Am I right? Not uh, tangent, above equation of normal. Why? Because I have uh, written the equation of normal and that normal should uh, must pass from this point. So it should satisfy. So now I'm just bifurcating the board here and I'm going here. So if you say X is zero. So basically what we get, we get this thing minus of five Y upon sine theta minus of five. I'm writing here also this point should satisfy this. Okay, 0, 6. So a uh, minus 5y upon sine theta, this must be equal to what? Uh, 144. Am I right? 144, no? Okay. Okay, in, in place of y, we should put 6, no? So it will be minus 30. Anyhow, let me write in another step. Uh, minus 5 into 6, that will be minus 30 upon sine theta. This will be equal to 144 or what you can say this uh, the value of sine theta we will have as the value of sine theta is minus 30 upon 144. That is 6 se jayega, minus 5, 6, 2 and 4. Okay. So the value of sine theta we got the value of sine theta is minus 5 upon 24. Is it possible? Can we have this value? Yeah, sine theta, uh, sin theta uh, ranges between minus 1 to 1, right? So it is somewhere between, uh, yeah, 0 to minus 1. Yeah, it is acceptable means it is acceptable. The sine theta value is acceptable. Okay. Now, uh, oh, what is the range of this theta basically? What is the range of this eccentric angle? It is between 0 to 2 pi, right? So let me let me draw one rough figure of sine theta. So this is our sine theta, right? This is uh, pi. This point is 2 pi. And uh, this value minus 5 upon 24 will be somewhere here. Minus 5 upon 24, it will be somewhere here. So if you observe between 0 to 2 pi, we are having two values, means two thetas. We can have two thetas here, no? these points. So two thetas are possible. So two thetas are possible, means two angles are possible. What does it mean? We can have two normals here because you place the, uh, you put the value of theta in this equation and you will have the normal. Since we are having two thetas, we can have two normals. Okay. So uh, no doubt there will be two normal, but there is one more catch in this question. If you observe the point, what is the point? This is 0 comma 6. So no doubt there are two normals here. I am accepting two normals are okay. 
but if you uh, observe more closely you will able to see there is one more uh, normal possible right how so let's uh, see so for that i will need the help of a sketch okay i will draw it uh, quickly so suppose this is our this is our ellipse okay this is this is the coordinate axis okay now let me name this point this vertex as a since a is greater than b here no so this is our vertex a this is our next second vertex a dash now this is our point b okay and this is our point b dash so what will be the coordinate of this a it will be a comma 0 no? means what 13 comma 0 this will be 13 comma 0 similarly this minus a dash will be minus 13 comma 0 and this b will be what 5 comma 0 or 0 comma 5 not 5 comma 0 0 comma 5 and this will be 0 comma minus 5 now i i am saying to observe where this point p is lying so basically this point p is lying somewhere here whose coordinates are 0 comma 6 okay so from here from uh, what we have done earlier here we are getting the two normals like what about this this uh, y axis this is our y axis no basically this y axis is also behaving as a normal to this ellipse from uh, this point since this point is lying on the y axis so this y axis is also behaving is also behaving as normal right is also behaving as normal to this ellipse this ellipse so basically basically we are having three normals three normals are possible from this point on this ellipse two from here and three from one from here so two plus one three normals are possible three normals from point p from p 0 comma 6 are possible are possible on this ellipse right so uh, i request all of you to uh, note this point okay this uh, point on uh, y axis so basically we can have three normals on the ellipse is it okay okay so let me start the next question into next one yeah so if a tangent of slope 2 of uh, the ellipse x square upon a square plus y square upon b square equal to 1 is normal to the circle okay so basically uh, two curves are given here one is our ellipse in a standard form and uh, one is our uh, circle in general form and uh, it is saying that the tangent to the ellipse no tangent to the ellipse is uh, be behaving as normal to the circle then the maximum value of ab uh, the question is asking so uh, let me write it this is our ellipse x square upon y square sorry x square upon a square uh, plus y square upon b square is equal to 1 okay let me uh, let the tangent be let me assume the tangent to be what y equal to mx plus c mx plus c for uh, this line to be tangent to this ellipse we all know the condition of tangency what is the condition of tangency y square sorry this c square this c square must be equal to uh, a square m square plus b square right or uh, what can you say what can you say this c must be equal to plus minus under root of a square m square plus b square is it okay so this is our tangent right 
y is equal to mx uh, plus minus under root of a square m square plus b square. Now, this is the tangent to the ellipse. This same line behaves as same same line behaves as normal to the behaves as the same line behaves as normal to behaves as normal to the given circle also. Okay. Now, what is our circle? Circle is x square plus y square plus 4x uh, plus 1 equal to 0. Now, what is the center of this circle? The center of this circle is minus 2 comma 0 because no y coordinate. Sorry, uh, no term having uh, y. So, center will be minus 2 comma 0. Now, this center should must satisfy this equation. This center should must satisfy, must satisfy this equation, right? So, if it is satisfying, I'm writing here in the next side. So, let me put it, y will be equal to 0, equal to what? mx, x is what? Uh, minus 2, no? So, minus 2m. Minus 2m plus minus under root of a square m square plus b square. Okay. Now we can take this 2m to this side and we can square it. We will have 4m square. 4m square is equal to uh, a square m square plus b square. Sorry guys. Yeah, Yeah, we have written the equation. Okay, okay. So what we got? Yeah, we know the value of m, right? Given that, given the slope of this is m, no? So we could have replaced it uh, earlier only, but anyhow. This m is uh, equal to 2. The slope is equal to 2. It is given. So, I am writing now. We could have uh, uh, written it earlier. So, instead of writing m, we could uh, have taken 2. Anyway, so put m equal to 2. So, this will be 2 chi square means 4. That is uh, 16 is equals to 16 is equals to a square m square. m square means what? 4, that is 4a square plus b square. This is what we got. This is what we got as per the given condition, right? Now, what we need to know after doing all these, we have to find the maximum value of ab. Like, we have to find the maximum value of ab. Maximum value of ab. So, how can we do? How can we do this? Now, this is known to us and we have to find the maximum value of AB. So, one very nice concept is uh, utilized here. If you observe, we can use the AMGM inequality here. How? How? Look at this. This 4A square. 4A square and uh, this b square thing these are two positive numbers right two positive numbers why because it is uh, in the square form no this a square multiplied by the positive 4 this b square these are positive numbers so for this since both are positive we can say this arithmetic arithmetic mean of these two numbers should be greater than or equal to geometric mean of these two numbers Right. This is the important concept which we are using here. So now what will be the arithmetic mean of this? It will be 4a square plus b square upon 2. This must be greater than or equal to what? 4a square into b square ka power 1 by 2. Is it okay? Is it okay? I hope it is uh, clear to all. So now we can uh, put the value of this 4a square plus 
b square here so it will be basically 16 upon 2 should be greater than or equal to 4 ka root that is 2 2 ab is it okay this thing will become 2 ab now uh, this uh, 16 upon 2 into 2 is greater than or equal to ab that is 4 right this will be 4 is greater than or equal to ab so we can say this ab maximum the maximum value of ab can be equal to 4 right so a very nice question in uh, in this coordinate geometry like in this chapter we are using using this property also so normally j also asks question based on this amgm inequality so it's a very important concept you should have a practice on these type of questions right so what can we say the uh, maximum value of ab is 4 right so this is our question number 9 we are done with that right just give me a minute just give me a minute Yes, uh, say the next one. Question number 10, right? If the normal at the point P, theta to the ellipse x square upon 14 plus y square upon 5 equal to 1 intersected again at point Q to theta, like uh, this theta and 2 theta are the eccentric angle, right? At the point P and Q, then cos theta is equal to. So basically, uh, our ellipse is x square upon 14, right? x square upon 14 uh, plus y square upon 5 equal to 1. This is our ellipse, okay? And uh, the point P is uh, theta. We can uh, write it as a cos theta, okay? a cos theta comma b sin theta. Now, what is a and b for this ellipse? a for this ellipse is uh, root 14 right because a square is equal to 14 and uh, uh, b is equal b square equal to 5 so b will be a uh, root 5. is it okay so i will write the equation of normal at b okay i will write the equation of normal at p so this is basically a x upon cos theta a x upon cos theta uh, minus b y upon sine theta that is equal to a square minus p square right now in place of a we can write a root 14 so this will be root 14 x okay upon cos theta then uh, in place of b we can write root 5 then y upon sine theta and this is equal to a square minus b square. What is a square minus b square? This 14 minus 5, right? 14 minus 5 is 9. Okay. Now, if you observe the question, the same normal is again intersecting, again intersecting at a uh, point Q. Okay. So if you see, what will be the coordinates of this point Q, whose eccentric angle is 2 theta? So it will be, uh, Q will be A cos of 2 theta. Is it okay? In place of theta, I'm writing 2 theta because uh, its eccentric angle is 2 theta. If the eccentric angle of P is theta, it's 2 theta as per the given information. We have not done any uh, out of the box thing. So A cos 2 theta and uh, the Y coordinate will be B sine 2 theta. B sine 2 theta. Okay, now this must satisfy this equation. This Q must satisfy, right? This Q must satisfy the above equation. So in place of uh, X and in place of Y, I will put this thing, the coordinates of the coordinates of our Q point. Okay. So this will be root 14. X means what? Uh, a cos 2 theta. So A is root 14 and uh, cos of 2 theta. Okay. So root 14 x upon 
cos theta minus root 5 root 5 बाद में भी है root 5 into y y is what uh, b sin 2 theta so uh, root 5 sin 2 theta is it okay sin 2 theta upon uh, sin theta is it okay and uh, that is equal to that should be equal to nine. so this will become 14 times cos 2 theta right cos 2 theta upon cos theta minus 5 into sin 2 theta upon sin theta that is equal to 9. So let's take this LCM cos theta into sin theta. Or uh, can we uh, further simplify it? What can we do? cos 2 theta and sin 2 theta, no? Okay, so this will be 14 into cos 2 theta, cos 2 theta into sin theta. Is it okay? And here sin theta is, so minus 5 sin 2 theta into cos theta, and that is equal to 9. Or cos 2 theta in place of cos 2 theta, we can write it as, now it's the trigonometry part, right? So sin 2 theta, we can replace it by 2 sin theta cos theta. And uh, this cos 2 theta, 2 cos square theta minus 1, we can write though. So instead of writing this, instead of writing this, uh, stay. What I will do, I will come directly here. This is 14 into cos square theta is 2 cos square theta minus 1, right? 2 cos square theta minus 1 upon cos theta. And uh, this thing will be 5 into 2 sin theta cos theta upon sin theta, okay? And uh, minus 9 equal to 0. So from here, what we can do? This will be 28 times 28 times cos square theta, right? Cos square theta minus 14 minus 14 then what? Okay. Um, 28 cos square theta minus 14 upon cos theta and here we have minus 10 uh, cos theta this sin theta sin theta we can cancel it and uh, minus of 9 equal to 0 okay so can we take LCM now okay let me take LCM. So this will be 28 cos square theta uh, minus 14 minus 10 cos square theta, right? Cos square theta minus 9 times cos theta equal to 0. So basically it will become 18 times cos square theta, this and this, then minus 9 times cos theta and minus of 14 equal to 0, right? This is the final equation what we are getting. So basically this uh, step what I have done here, you can omit this. Like, okay, I am striking it off. Okay. So instead of that, uh, we have changed this cos 2 theta into cos theta. So we got a quadratic, right? We got a quadratic in cos theta. So let's try to figure it out. What can we do here? So this will be basically let this cos theta thing is equal to. So let I am assuming this cos theta to be equal to x. This cos theta is equal to x. So we can write it as uh, 18 
एटीन एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस नाइन एक्स माइनस फोर्टीन वाई इज इट हैंगिंग आई डोंट ओके माइनस ऑफ फोर्टीन इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो एटीन इंटू फोर्टीन राइट एटीन इंटू फोर्टीन विल बी टू फिफ्टी टू If you take prime factor for this, it will be one two six, one two six. Then six three. Then three two one three seven. So this way, yes, it is minus twenty. Will it work? Twenty one minus twenty. Yeah. so this will be basically 18x square and a um, minus 21x 12 plus 12x is it okay plus 12x uh, minus 14 equal to 0 i don't know the board is hanging or what i am not able to write properly so okay let me take this sorry guys yeah let me uh, take this 3x common from here so what i will be left with this 6x minus 7 6x minus 7 and plus if i take two common here 6x minus 7 here comes i think i have uh, come down on this board that's why this is happening So we have finally what we get three x plus two okay into six x minus seven equal to zero six x minus seven equal to zero what does it imply uh, either x is equal to seven by six or or x is equal to uh, minus two by three right x is equal to minus two by three. so what is x basically x is cos theta no? so cos theta is equal to 7 by 6 right so it is greater than 1 and cos theta cannot go above 1 right so this value is rejected and uh, this cos theta we can accept it why because it is less than less than minus 1 not less than minus 1 greater than minus 1 then it's between minus 1 and So minus two by three we can accept it. So we got the value of cos theta as minus two by three. So what was there in the question? What was asked there? Yeah, we we had to find the value of cos theta one. So how much it is coming? Cos theta is coming out to be minus two by three, right? Minus two by three. So uh, this will be our answer. This will be our answer. So uh, question number ten we are done. Then. Uh, okay this is our question number 11 so hopefully a uh, board don't disturb now okay so uh, the line this 5x minus 3y is equal to 8 root 2 is a normal to the ellipse okay so one ellipse is given here one equation of line is uh, given here and it is saying this line is normal to this ellipse If theta be the eccentric angle of the foot of this normal, then theta is equal to. Okay, so let me write the equation of ellipse. This is x square upon twenty five plus y square upon nine is equal to. Okay, and uh, let me assume a point P a cos theta comma b sin theta. Is it okay? This is how we are uh, assuming a parametric point on the ellipse. So, uh, what will be the normal equation at P? Normal at P, we can write it as a x upon cos theta, a x upon cos theta minus b y upon sine theta is equal to a square minus b square. Now, what is a here? A is five. So, five x upon cos theta. Minus what is b? B is three minus three y upon sine theta is equal to a square minus b square means twenty five minus nine. 
that is 16. Now, this is the equation of normal at P and as per given condition, like as in the given question, this line, this line 5x minus 3y is equal to 8 root 2 is normal. So both these lines represent the same line. Both this equation represents same line. Represents same line. We have done uh, questions on the similar logic in this exercise earlier also, right? So what I will do, I will compare their, I will uh, make their coefficients equal. So this 5 upon cos theta, okay, whole divided upon 5, this uh, must be equal to what? Uh, minus 3 upon uh, sine theta, minus 3 upon sine theta, whole by minus 3, and then this 16 upon 8 root 2. So what we got from here, we have 1 upon cos theta is equal to 1 upon sine theta. This 5 and this 5 will get cancelled out. This minus 3 minus 3 will get cancelled out. So this will be equal to this 2. 2 upon root 2, right? So this will be equal to root 2. So from here we got cos theta is equal to sin theta is equal to taking the reciprocal, reciprocating the terms, this will be 1 by root 2. So easily we can say the theta must be equal to Pentalis degree, right? Theta must be equal to 45 degree. So 45 degree means pi by 4. Okay. So this is the answer. Now, this is question number 11. I think three, four questions more left in this exercise. Okay, anyhow. If the tangent drawn at point this on the parabola, y square is equal to 4x. Okay, so the question has introduced uh, some concept of parabola also. So, anyhow, we have to uh, draw tangent at the point lambda is where comma 2 lambda on this parabola is same. Okay, the tangent to the parabola is behaving as the normal to the ellipse. Okay. So we will draw, we will write the equation of tangent for the parabola and we will make that, that uh, we will make that tangent as the uh, normal to the given ellipse. And then I think we will have some clues for finding these values lambda. Okay. So the parabola is y square is equal to 4x. Okay. Y square is equal to 4x. It is our standard parabola. And the given point is P whose coordinates are lambda square comma 2 lambda. Now what I have to do, I have to write the equation of tangent at P. Tangent, equation of tangent at P. So what we do, we do y, y1 minus this four, 2 times x plus x1 is equal to 0. This will be the equation of tangent, t equal to 0, right? And uh, now put the value of x1 and y1 here. So y into y1 is 2 lambda and minus 2. And uh, what you say, x plus x1. x1 is what? Lambda is what? Plus lambda is square is equal to 0, right? And uh, this tangent is same as the normal drawn at a point this. Okay. So further uh, we can simplify it. What can we write it as uh, 2 lambda y. Is it okay? Uh, minus 2x. Minus 2x. And minus 2 lambda is good. Right? The same equation. I have just uh, open the bracket. So two lambda y minus two x minus two lambda equal equal to uh, minus two lambda square equal to zero. So this is the tangent at p at point p on the parabola. Now what I will do uh, this uh, equation of let me write the equation of ellipse. So this is our ellipse x square upon five, right? X square upon five plus y square upon 4. Is it okay? x square upon 5 plus y square upon 4 equal to 1. Right? And uh, the point P, okay, P I have taken it there. 
So I'm taking this point as Q whose coordinates are root five uh, cos theta comma two sine theta. Is it okay? So uh, I will write the normal equation of the normal at P. This is what is given normal drawn at point. Okay, so I will write the equation of normal at Q. So what will be the equation of normal? So this will be basically AX, right? So AX upon cos theta, AX upon cos theta minus BY upon sin theta is equal to A square minus B square. So further, we can simplify it as what is A? A is root five, right? So this will be a root five, a root five, a root five x upon cos theta. Then what is b? b is two. b is two. So two y upon uh, sine theta and is equal to what is a square minus b square? a square minus b square will be uh, five minus four. That is one, right? So let me call this as equation one and uh, this as equation two. Now, as per given condition, this equation one and equation two are same line. One and two represent same line, right? Represent same line. This is what is given in the question. So we can uh, say that, we can say that this thing, x no so minus 2 coefficient of x here minus 2 upon what is coefficient of x here uh, a root 5 root 5 into cos theta okay this must be equal to coefficient of y here 2 lambda 2 lambda upon what is the coefficient of y here uh, minus 2 minus 2 upon sin theta and uh, this must be equal to the constant term so 2 lambda square. So I'm writing it as 2 lambda square upon 1. Is it okay? Right? So what can we do further? What can we? We have to find the value of this lambda and theta, right? We have to find the value of lambda and theta. Hmm. lambda and theta so how can we do how can we do if the tangent to the parabola is same as the normal okay so i have written the equation of tangent and written the equation of normal Okay, so uh, let's let me proceed. Like, I think we will get something. So, this will be minus 2 cos theta. Okay, minus 2 cos theta upon a root 5 is equal to this 2 lambda square upon 1. Hmm. And uh, what else we are getting? What else we are getting? Okay, this normal, this if you see this equation of normal must satisfy this point, no? So root five cos theta comma two sine theta. So x and y we can uh, place here. So let me see whether we are getting any uh, fruitful thing from there. So this point Q, this point Q must satisfy it, right? So this will be the root of 5 into x is what? Root 5 cos theta upon, upon cos theta. And uh, minus 2 y, y is what? 2 sin theta. 2 sin theta upon sin theta. So 5 minus 4 equal to 1. Yeah, this will be there. So no. I think we will have something from this equation only. 
I'm just erasing it. Uh, yeah, this one and two, if represent the same line, their coefficients must be equal to, must be equal. So I'm equating that. So this thing coefficient of x is minus two upon a root five cos theta. Okay, this one thing I'm getting here. And what else I'm getting two alpha, sorry, two lambda sine theta upon minus two is equal to two lambda square upon one. So this two lambda get canceled out. Okay. And we get the value of lambda as what? We got the value of lambda as um, sine theta upon two. Can't we have something extra? This uh, lambda minus no minus sine will come. So minus sine theta upon two. Is it okay? So minus two lambda equal to sine theta. Mm. So this is what we are getting. Now we have to find the value of lambda and theta, right? So we got a relation between lambda and theta. Right, no? We got the relation between lambda and theta. Now we what can we say for this? Like Lambda, can we say anything? This uh, 2 is square. This must satisfy. No? This point must satisfy. So here if you see, this will be 4 lambda square. 4 lambda square. That will be equal to 4 lambda square. So nothing uh, can be derived from there. Okay. So these two relations we got. These two relations we got. This sine theta, this sine theta is equal to uh, minus 2 lambda. Okay. Sine theta is equals to minus 2 lambda. And from here, what we can say, we can say cos theta is equals to this 2 and 2, uh, we can cancel it out. So we can say from here, cos theta is equals to uh, root of 5 lambda square, uh, root 5 lambda square. Is it okay? With negative sign, with negative sign. Cos theta is equal to root 5 lambda square with negative sign. So I think we have to utilize these two things only to find the value of lambda. Now this sine square theta, this means what? Uh, 4 lambda square, this 4 lambda square and plus cos square theta, that is 5 lambda ka power 4 this is equal to 1 right so let uh, lambda square is equal to x assuming this what we can say this 5 x square 5 x square plus 4 x minus 1 equal to 0 right so 5 minus 1 right no so 5 x square plus 5 x minus x minus 1 equal to 0 so taking 5x common, x plus 1 minus 1, x plus 1 equal to 0. So what we can say from here, uh, either uh, lambda square is equal to minus 1, lambda square is equal to minus 1, which is not possible, or uh, this thing, 5 lambda, right? Lambda, 5 lambda, 5x plus 1 equal to 1, means uh, 5x equal to 1 or x is equal to 1 by 5 or uh, lambda square is equal to 1 by 5, right? So from here, we get the value of lambda as plus minus 1 by root 5. Is it okay? We got the value of lambda as plus minus 1 by root 5. So I think uh, this is clear to everyone. So once we got, I'm writing it here clearly. Okay. So we got the value of lambda as 
plus minus 1 by root 5. So once uh, the value of lambda is known to us, we can put here. So we will have cos theta is equals to minus root 5 minus root 5 into lambda square. What is lambda square? Lambda square is 1 by 5, right? Lambda square is 1 by 5. Or we can say cos theta is equals to minus 1 by root 5. Is it okay? Or theta we can say as cos inverse minus of 1 by root 5. So this will be the value of theta and this will be the value of lambda. It, it is a bit lengthy. So anyhow, we invested one, two minutes here in this calculation part. So uh, this is done. This is the value of our uh, lambda and theta. Okay. Now coming to the next one. This is our question number 13. If the normal at any point P of the ellipse meets the major and minor axis in G and H. Okay. And C is the center of ellipse. So basically uh, this type of questions we, we done in this exercise. I have already done, but okay, we will, uh, we will do it once again. So this is our ellipse. Okay. This is the axis of the ellipse and a normal at P, right? We are drawing a normal at P meets the major and minor axis. Okay. So let me say this is our normal. Okay. And it is meeting the major axis and G. Let me write uh, this point as G. Okay. And uh, it is meeting the major axis at G and minor at H. Okay. So one question where this H was given as a small g, that uh, ratio we had to find. No? This is our point P. So similar type of question, this is also. This is also uh, same same logic based question and uh, c is the center okay so definitely this is the center of the circle will be zero comma zero so center of circle will be origin right and uh, let me take this point as p as a cos theta comma b sin theta in parametric form so uh, i will write the equation of normal at p right equation of normal at p that will be uh, a x upon cos theta okay minus b y upon sin theta is equal to a square minus b square is it okay is it okay now uh, for having the uh, coordinates of g for g we know for having the coordinate of g i have to put y equal to zero right for g, I have to put y equal to 0 in the in equation 1. So what I will get, I will get the value of x and that will be equal to, x will be equal to a square minus b square, right, into cos theta, into cos theta upon uh, a, right. And similarly, for having the coordinate of this h, I will put x equal to 0. And from there, from there, I will have y coordinate of h as y coordinate of h as x will be equal to 0. So this will be b square minus a square, right? b square minus a square into sine theta and uh, whole divided upon by b. Now, what is asked in the question? This a square into cg square. a square into this distance cg square and plus b square into c h square okay so what is cg cg is nothing but uh, this thing only the x coordinate of g right and what is ch ch is nothing but the y coordinate of h so let me write it as a square into this is basically equal to cg we can write here also and this will be equal to basically ch so cg is square right so a is square minus b is square whole square cos is square theta upon a square this will be our cg square right 
and plus b square into ch square that will be b square minus a square whole square sine square theta upon this thing b square is it okay now this a square a square will get cancelled out this b square b square will get cancelled out and we will be having a square minus b square whole square okay we can take common from both these terms and we will be having cos square theta this minus a square you can take minus common from here no? so this will become minus of a square minus b square whole square now again squaring will have no effect at all so i am taking this thing common and plus sine square theta right so this will be equal to a square minus b square ka whole square right so this is what we were required to prove so we can say hence proved <laughs> right hence proved so this is our question number 13 now question number 14 if the normal at the point p theta to the ellipse this intersecting again at point q to theta o the same question we have done like so that cos theta equal to minus okay okay this question is uh, repeated actually if you see we have done same question so i think i'm not wrong yeah this is the question see point p is theta then it is intersecting again at okay let me see the equation of ellipse so x square upon 14 plus y square upon 5 x square upon 14 y square upon 5 yeah so it's it's the same one i'm not going to write it again okay so that was question number 14 okay this is the last one i think this is the last question i think okay let's finish it the tangent and normal at a point p of an ellipse this cuts its major axis in q and r respectively okay if q r is equal to a prove that the eccentric angle of the point p is given okay so basically we have to take a point p and we have to write the equation of uh, normal and tangent at the same point okay so i'm just making a, a rough sketch for that so suppose this is our this is our point p suppose i am taking this as point p okay major axis is given so i think i have to draw the major axis also and uh, i have to draw a normal at this point and i have to draw tangent at this point right so I think this will be enough. So this is our point P, right? This is our point P and this is the normal at point P, right? And this is the tangent at point P. So the tangent and normal at point P of the ellipse this cuts its major axis in point Q. So the tangent is cutting the major axis at point Q. So basically this is our point Q. Okay. And uh, normal is cutting it as point R. So this is our point R. Now if QR, the length of QR is given to be A. Okay. So this QR thing, this length of QR is given to be A. So we have to prove that eccentric angle of point p okay eccentric angle means theta eccentric angle of point p is given by so what is eccentric angle angle is theta only no with theta we used to call it as theta so let me assume this point p as a cos theta a cos theta 
comma b sin theta right now what i will do i will write the equation of normal and tangent at this point so first let me write the equation of equation of normal okay equation of normal at p so what will be the equation a x upon cos theta right minus b y upon sin theta is equal to a square minus b square is it okay now this a uh, normal is cutting the major axis at point r so okay so if you see uh this is the major axis no so what is major axis y equal to zero y equal to zero is the major axis for this uh, standard ellipse okay so i will put y equal to zero and i will have the point r the coordinates of point r as what will be x a square minus b square a square minus b square into cos theta right into cos theta upon uh, a comma zero like right? this will be the coordinate of r no doubt and now i will write a tangent equation of tangent okay at the same point p so that we can do by x x1 uh, upon a square right this is how we used to write no x x1 upon uh, a square plus y y1 on p square is equal to 1 okay so so basically now how can we write this x1 means what this point is a cos theta no? so x into a cos theta okay x into a cos theta upon a square uh, plus y into what is y1 b sin theta b sin theta upon b square is equal to 1 so this a this uh, b we will get cancelled out and we will have x cos theta upon a plus y sin theta y sin theta upon b is equal to 1 so this is the equation of uh, tangent right now the tangent is meeting the major axis um, at point q right the tangent is meeting at point q no? respectively and normal at r so now for q for q again we have to put y equal to 0 right so our coordinates of q will be our coordinates of q will be what coordinates of q will be uh, x no so y will be 0 so this thing will be 0 so our coordinates of q will be a upon uh, a upon cos theta is it okay a upon cos theta and y coordinate will be 0 right now this q r distance is given as a so what will be qr basically what will be qr qr will be this minus this whole square right this a upon cos theta okay a upon cos theta x1 minus x2 what is x2 this thing x coordinate of r a square minus b square cos theta okay a square minus b square cos theta upon a so x1 minus x2 this whole ka whole squared okay under root so i'm writing this as a qr square instead of qr i'm writing it as qr square now what is qr qr is basically given as a square so this is equal to a square and uh, if you take a cos theta right a cos theta lcm here so what we will have a square right a square minus cos theta thing will be there no? so minus a square cos square theta a square cos square theta and uh, plus b square plus b square cos square theta is it okay cos square theta Okay, this uh, this thing will not come. Up. Why I am writing this uh, whole square? No whole square. No. Why whole square? This QR will be under root, no? 
qr will be under roots i am squaring uh, qr means i am squaring that then that under root will uh, be gone why to bring this square here right no so qr is a so qr square will be a square right and here we will have uh, a cos theta i have taken lcm so a square minus a square cos square theta plus b square cos square theta. I think it's uh, fine only, right? So what can we do further? Uh, this will be a cube. A cube, uh, what? A cube cos theta will be equal to a square. Same thing, a square cos square theta and uh, plus b square cos square theta. Is it okay? Now, if I uh, divide whole thing by this a square, what I will uh, get? I will have this a cos theta. a cos theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta plus b square upon a square cos square theta right or or what we can do and whether it is going in the right direction or what i have to find the eccentric angle no? okay okay so let me take this thing here. This cos square theta part I am taking here in the left hand side and I will take cos square theta common. So I will have 1 minus b square upon a square right. And here in the right hand side I will have 1 minus 1 minus a cos theta. Is it okay? a cos theta. Now this cos square theta and what can we say this 1 minus b square upon a square is nothing but is nothing but e square is it okay is equal to 1 minus a cos theta 1 minus cos phi a cos phi a cos theta i am taking as theta uh, the question is given in the file so e square cos square theta minus 1 plus a cos theta equal to zero right so uh, i think this one was the last question okay and uh, okay here is our thank you slide so uh, yeah thank you everyone i hope uh, you have listened all the questions like carefully and you have uh, practiced it also so uh, this video series will be only helpful once uh, if you practice the questions first if you are not able to solve or if you are struggling in view of the questions, you can uh, directly come to that question and you can see the solution to that. So yeah, uh, a happy uh, new year to all of you and uh, keep rocking, keep studying. Okay, so take care, Tata, goodbye.